Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. It's all about the athlete part of my life in this vlog, and I'm glad you're tuned in for it. Music, I love the music. I this week is a little bit of a challenge, so be ready for a combination of bodybuilding, nutritional advice, and some Kung Fu as well. So the other day, I randomly got hit up by Tavi Castro on Instagram and he said he wanted to do a Kung Fu workout with me. Funny enough, I knew his name because I am a laid back Luke fit a lot of the times and I always think it's interesting to look up dietary stuff and everything and I randomly came across his video and realized it was this guy that I knew from fitness. So today he's taking a risk by stepping out of his comfort zone and taking my Kung Fu class. We're gonna do the Kung Fu class now but after, I will train with him as well. I'm gonna change into my Kung Fu outfit and let's see how it goes. Hi everybody. Welcome, oh. welcome, <laughs> come What's in, up? hi. Dude, look at the size of this guy. In real life, <laughs> he's even bigger than in the pictures. So, welcome to my world. Thank you. And um, let's see uh, what we can do with yeah, you. I, don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, stretching, just go up until your boundary and just hover up there until your body says, I'm cool here. I'm not cool here. <laughs> okay, because okay, actually I want to take you here. So, both yeah. toes up. That's how look on. You guys really push yourselves and I even see talent with the punches and the sticks, so well done, excellent. You're just gonna bow to the past masters, the grandmaster, perhaps the masters of the future, which is you guys. Thank you. So just rounded up the workout. Um, what did you think? I think it was so amazing to, to experience a completely different type of training because I feel like I didn't lift anything heavy and I'm tired, I was shaking and sweating, and I felt like a pussy. Luckily, he never looks like a pussy. <laughs> and uh, no, he did amazingly well. I saw a bunch of talent, the bow staff, the punching, even the loose power for such a big guy, really impressed. So you know me actually from back in the day, from the forum, right? Yeah, I came to the Netherlands as a soccer player, and then uh, I stopped and went to school and decided I really wanted to get into music because my father was uh, into music. And I, I couldn't find any good place to, to learn or meet people that could maybe help me. And I was actually on his forum learning about music production, FL Studio, everything. Uh, so it's really cool to actually finally meet him in real life. And here we are in the second part of this vlog, road tripping out to Germany. And I'm going out there to train again with Tavi, but not training him Kung Fu. I am gonna do a bodybuilding training from him now. And so today it will be me that is out of his comfort zone. And I'm very curious how I will pull it off. Boathouse, what's up? And there's Tavi, can't miss him. FIBO is the world's biggest fitness expo. Uh, 150,000 people will go through this expo in about three, four days. And it's just everything about equipment, martial arts, clothing, um, everything to do with, with fitness. May your heavy body your mind. Let me know you still exist. Lay your arms around mine. Seal this moment with a kiss. Touch and hand.
awesome time out. It's really good to see how it goes in the fitness industry. A lot of muscles out, a lot of protein shakes and stuff. Got hooked up with all these clothes. That's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna strap on some t-shirts and we'll go to the workout now. It's pre-workout. I will explain to you guys exactly why you need to take pre-workout sometimes. Like when you had a long day and it was tiring. <laughs> Interesting. I never take pre-workout, so we'll see what the effect By is. By the way, on. this this is how I this is how I passed my aerospace engineering university degree. <laughs> you don't need supplements at all. That sounds really crazy. Why, does, why is there a billion dollar industry for it? Building like a, a bodybuilding physique or uh, being in that, in that, in the competitions and like that. To achieve that physique, you need a lot of consistency. The whole day you're busy and then finally you get home and what's the, the first thing you do? There's nothing in the fridge, Domino's pizza. Yes, I want some cine sticks and I want uh, <laughs> two, two extra large, <laughs> you know? So it's uh, where the supplements come in is that they're not supposed to replace if you can cook and make good food. Uh, it's supposed to be there when you can't do it. I can so. imagine trying to, to go lower on the calories, but still taking enough protein is very hard yeah. because yeah, you can't eat as much. I've always been very curious about this because people say, oh, uh, BCAA, uh, glutamine, and yeah. I have no clue what they are talking about. If you're doing a lot of, a lot of movements or you're doing a, a lot of running or you're doing a lot of sprinting, your body is actually programmed to not hold more muscle than it needs. Evolution, if you're running from a lion and you're big and heavy and you've got to be fast but also be able to run far away, at a certain point your body starts to change its chemistry to go, hey, start using the muscle for, for energy as well. You can see it as like a protector. This protects what you have. And the last supplement I want to talk about um, that helps you during your fat loss, a pre-workout or a fat burner. So a lot of people get kind of scared, like fat burners, oh, is that healthy, is that good? Uh, I took it one time and I was shaking and... Wait, but so if I don't train and I only drink this, I will burn my fat? No, what a fat burner does is it, it makes you feel normal during a fat burning phase in your diet. Because when you're dieting and you're hungry, the whole day you're, you're sitting thinking, oh, I want to, he's eating a burger, oh, he's, he's, oh I, I, I want some candy, you know? And a fat burner just helps you to get through that, that phase of, oh, I feel like giving up, I feel like giving up. So we're here, of course it's Swamp, all the people from FIBO and uh, Tavi's joint. We're gonna go in right now and try and get some muscle going on. So his drop weight is half of my starting weight. So he, he's lifting double what I do right now. So bodybuilding, you have to see it like, a, like art, you know, you're putting, I need some meat there, some meat here. Like creating a sculpture, right? Yes. Our first case on a quest trip, love sick on a comp beach. Baby, I'm an XO, XO. I don't wanna let go, let go. Awesome workout, you saw it. Tavi is a beast, and only if you're a beast you can get as big as he is. Um, I'm gonna train my chicken arm some more. Stick with Kung Fu as well. well. We'll probably need to do some stretching afterwards, right? Yeah, we're gonna do some stretching and we're gonna have a shake. Such a good time getting to know Tavi really well. And I'm not surprised that he made it this far because he's such a nice guy, very smart, a good business instinct. And what I really love is that he's very much open to learn anything he can and take on new challenges. So Tavi makes music as well. Go and check out his music, check out his Instagram, check out his clothes. And I'm sure us in the DJ world will see a lot more from him in the near future. Next week, another super special vlog. It'll be an in-depth vlog about how I made my new remix for Firebeats while being on the road in Asia. And I'll take you through the whole process step by step. I realize you've never seen it before 
And if you're ready to see it, make sure to give me a like and go and subscribe on my channel as well. And I will catch you back here next week here on The True Story and The Real Life. Until then, L's up, rave safely and salute.